How do you know if you're experiencing stress or anxiety? And is there even a difference? I'm Carol, I'm a PhD student in physiology, and in the next three to four minutes, we're talking about the differences between anxiety and stress. They might seem similar, but there are some key differences between them. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about where they come from. Anxiety is like that feeling you get when something's off, but you can't quite put your finger on it. It just shows up uninvited. Stress, though, usually has a reason, like work deadlines, money issues, or even just too much on your plate. Next, let's look on how long they stick around. Anxiety can hang around like a dark cloud even when the thing that started it has long gone. Stress, on the other hand, is more of a thunderstorm. It can be intense, but usually it blows over once the issue is sorted out. How they mess with your life, it's pretty different too. Anxiety can be a real downer, affecting everything from study or job to social life and health. Stress, on the other hand, tends to mess a lot with you at that moment, but doesn't usually stick around to cause long-term problems unless it becomes chronic. Now, let's talk about how can they affect you physically. With anxiety, it affects your nervous system, triggering your body's fight-or-fly response your respiratory system because it can lead to hyperventilation, your digestive system and it can lead to stomach aches, nausea, diarrhea and even IBS, and sleep disturbances because anxiety can lead to insomnia. And now let's look at stress. It affects your cardiovascular system because chronic stress can lead to a higher risk of heart attack or stroke. Your immune system, because long-term stress can weaken your immune response. Your digestive system, because it can affect your body's ability to properly digest food and absorb nutrients. And also sleep problems, because stress can also lead to insomnia and disrupted sleep. And although the two are quite different, you see some crossover symptoms, especially due to the releasing of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. Lastly, the emotional response of anxiety and stress differs. Anxiety is like having a constant worry or fear that just won't quit even when it doesn't make sense. This persistent state of apprehension can make it difficult to relax and feel at ease. Whereas stress involves a mix of emotions such as frustration, anger, and irritability directly tied to the stressor. It can also amplify feelings of anxiety, making it difficult managing day-by-day -day challenges. So there you have it, anxiety and stress side by side. Knowing the differences can help you manage them better. So remember, you are stronger than you think and taking care of your mental health is a superpower. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because it really means a lot. So stay calm and keep smiling.